As a result of a 100% increase costs for refuse collection in Ibadan, southwest Nigeria, a Nigerian woman decided it was time to do something different. Today, Jumoke Oluwakiri runs a small business converting waste products into playground equipment for schools. Last year, she opened a waste museum featuring works of artists who use anything from tires to plastic, styrofoam and food waste. Inside Nigeria's Waste Museum in Ibadan, Oyo State, Jumoke Olorokere works on her latest creations made out of used tires, an addition to a wide collection produced from used plastic, fabric, wine corks, amongst other found objects. The founder of what she calls Africa's first waste museum joins a growing number of Nigerians who are using waste to create amazing works of art and fashion to highlight the damaging impact of filth on the environment. Her interest in making art from waste started when she realized her landlord was going to increase her waste collection bill because of the amount of dirt generated from her home while reading up on how to reduce, reuse and recycle. The waste from my kitchen inspired me. Um, for each time I see waste in my kitchen and I want to throw it away, I don't want to throw it away. So I'm always like, what can we do with this thing? Why do we have to throw this thing away? Why must it end up in the dustbin? Why must we throw it in the landfill? So I always, you know, want to challenge myself to see what I could come up with using the waste. Apart from running the waste museum, she also makes equipment for school playgrounds. In Nigeria, a nation of more than 200 million people, plastic waste, especially in form of discarded bags, food and drink packaging, is popular and dropping of litter is commonplace. If we cannot define where our waste is going to and what that waste is being used for, then we have not started. Because it's not enough for you to just pick the waste, drop them on the landfill and say, oh, that's it, final, oh, bye-bye. A lot of dirt in the country ends up in waterways that lead into the Gulf of Guinea, prompting concerns about the amount of plastic entering the sea. As UN member states meet in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, this week to agree on plans for the first global treaty to tackle plastic pollution, this artist hopes people will do more to protect the environment. I love the theme for this year. The theme is strengthening action for nature towards achieving the SDG goals. And what this simply means to me is everybody should start their own gardening because there's no how you will have a garden, I'll have a garden that will not strengthen nature. There's no how you will have a garden in your house that you will not love nature. The 44-year-old former visual arts teacher collects some of her waste materials from people's homes and also picks plastics off the streets. Uh -huh, sort them. And that's it on the program today. Thank you for watching. I'm Layo Adegoki.